Three homicides in two states in one year may add up to arrests in two unsolved murders tonight. A Walton man might be responsible for both crimes, and he's the nephew of two of the victims. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live at the Boone County Sheriff's Office now to put things in perspective. Tom? Well, Carol, lots of questions tonight. Who killed Lee Jennings in Aurora last week? Who killed Bill and Peggy Stevenson in Florence last year? Could the same person be responsible for both crimes? Well, that's what investigators here in Boone County want to know, along with their counterparts in Dearborn County over in Indiana. It was Thursday night when the body of 67-year-old Lee Jennings was found in her home on Aspen Ridge Drive in Aurora. Police there called it a homicide, and Dearborn County Prosecutor Erin Negengard said she died a violent death. Jennings worked for years at Jim Young's Barbershop in Florence and was said to be well-liked there. A possible break in the case came Monday night in Walton at a home on Old Stevenson Mill Road. Indiana State Police asked for help from the Boone County Sheriff's Office to investigate the house of a possible suspect. Part of that puzzle is here in Boone County, and that's how uh, law enforcement agencies work. So if I go into another jurisdiction, I'll at the very least let them know that I'm there uh, and oftentimes ask for their assistance. The man reportedly tried to take his own life and is currently hospitalized. What piqued everyone's interest is that he's the nephew of Bill and Peggy Stevenson, whose bodies were found in their Florence home last year. Their children offered a $5,000 reward in the case, but so far there's been no arrest. Is this person that was hospitalized because of the self-inflicted wounds in Walton, is that the person of interest in the Stevenson case? I'm not going to comment on the Stevenson case. Well, Carol, so what tonight that means is two families are waiting and they, like police, want to see arrests and convictions in these case, cases very, very soon. Tom McKee reporting live for us. Thanks, Tom. And you can call it intuition. The Stevenson's daughter, Beth Victor, told Nine News in an interview she feared the person responsible for her parents' murder could be someone she knew. Nine News reporter Jay Warren is live in the newsroom with more from Victor, who said her parents didn't have any enemies. Jay? That's right, Carol. This February, Nine News anchor Julie O'Neill interviewed Beth Victor about the murder of her parents, Victor's parents. The most pressing questions for Victor were who did it and why. Boone County Sheriff's investigators interviewed hundreds of people in eight states, but were still left without a break in the case. Since the May murders, Beth Victor told Nine News that she and her family were unsure if they were safe and said they lived in fear every day. Victor has been scratching her head because she felt like her parents didn't have any en enemies. They had no enemies, not an enemy in the world. It has to be the biggest shock. Mm -hmm. It is. It's, <laughs> never thought it would happen to our family. Now, Victor says that whenever the family gets together, the murders is all they ever talk about. She and the rest of her ha family hope that the answers are coming soon. Carol? Jay Warren, thanks for that.